Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom. Hey guys, welcome to my first video. Um, I am Jake from the Brave and the Boys podcast. And some of you know me probably from the Omnibus Collectors Reddit. Others might know me from the Near Mint Discord. Others might know me from my real life and you're watching this video as a favor to me, so thank you. Uh, I thought what I would do is give you guys a tour of my uh, my room, uh, office. It's where I do my homework, where I do the podcast, where I talk to you guys on Discord, and most importantly, where I do my reading. So 100% uh, of my reading is done at a desk because Omnis are a little hard to balance. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the room, um, show off kind of some of the tech that I use, uh, I will say I didn't clean my second bookshelf. It's kind of lazy of me, but uh, I got some new camera gear So I wanted to test it out and see how it worked. So guys if you have any suggestions this is getting my first video I'm sure I'll look back on this in five videos and be like, what was I thinking? It was terrible, you know, but again, I do this all as a hobby for fun. So uh, Let me guys show you guys around the room I have my Herman Miller chair, my Ikea desk. It you know, needs a little bit of organization. Um, you can see I have an LG Ultraride monitor, um, Apple stuff, I'm an Apple fanboy. Um, Apple laptop, little webcam. Over here is my bookshelf of shame that I don't like to show off, but you know, I'll probably try to fix that in post. Um, iPad, so that's all the kind of the stuff that I use to show you the rest of the room. I have some Studio Ghibli art, a statue, my Batman section, so we'll go deeply into these books. We've got my Marvel stuff on this side. So yeah, let's go into uh, let's go into the book self tour. So up first I have my absolutes. Uh, I decided to organize them in alphabetical order. So start with the absolute authorities, which I haven't read, but I got them as soon as the movie got announced. All-Star Superman, which is one of my favorites, Court of Owls, my Batman ones. Crisis on Infinite Earths was one that I love. I actually got this uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow for $10 at Barnes & Noble, uh, Fourth World. I did have the Omnibus, but I did switch to the Absolutes. Gave the, uh, sold the Omnibus to Jordan. Um, recently got this for my birthday, Absolute Justice League, the world's greatest superheroes. When I bought that, I thought I was buying Absolute Justice. Uh, didn't work out. Uh, Kingdom Come, though this one is backwards. How do you guys store your Omni uh, Absolutes? I mean, tell me in the comments below. Uh, this is my favorite Absolute New Frontier. It's my quintessential Justice League story. This is where Preacher 1 will go when the pre-order comes in. Absolute Preacher 2, 3. Then you have the Sandmans and the Swamp Things. I wish I had a longer bookshelf because I would have preferred to keep all the Absolutes on their own individual row. Here I have the last two, Absolute Watchmen and Doomsday Clock. I uh, know that's not alphabetized, but I like to, you know, it's chronological order, so I like it. Um, down here, we have Animal Man by Grant Morrison, one of my favorite omnibuses. New 52 Animal Man is good. Then we start having Batman. Um, I only keep my deluxe and my uh, omnibuses together, so none of my trades or uh, standard size hardcovers. I have ba Batman in chronological order. Then alphabetized, metal, death metal for chronological, doom patrol, final crisis, all alphabetized. I try to leave gap spaces for future books, so Injustice 2 will go there. Then my Superman section. Zero hour and 52. One thing that I would have liked to have done, um, if I had Crisis on Infinite Earths in a deluxe edition, I probably would have put that first and then had all the Crisis in order. Um, to pick out a couple of my favorites, uh, Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale is one of my favorite. Uh, I've always wanted the Absolutes. Dark Victory's just never been in print. Loved Grant Morrison Batman run. 
love Rise and Fall of the Batman. So I'm a big Batman fanboy. Other than that, um, I love the Doom Patrol omnibus. And I love the Green Lantern omnibuses. And I think Infinite Crisis is one of the quintessential ones just because all the tie-ins add so much to the story. Um, I haven't read all of these DC ones. I've read a majority of them. Um, though I'm sure I'll live to regret those words when uh, I do a red versus not red uh, list. Uh, but let's go over to the Marvel section. Here you can see the Marvel section. Right now I have it alphabetized. I would like to have it alphabetized in chronological order. I just don't have enough books for that yet. Um, it is going to absolutely kill me when I get the second one and the A's don't match. So I have Captain America Lives Turned Sideways because eventually 4 and 5 will go there. Then the Daredevils. That kills me! Fantastic Four, Secret Wars... Um, eventually I'll have Secret Warriors, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four, uh, Avengers, Avengers, Secret Wars. Um, I'm reading this currently. Then I have my Star Wars section. These were the first Marvel Omnis that I read. Um, so I, this is the first Marvel Omni that I read, uh, and then this one. Um, I'm excited to jump into this one and this one. Thor, I'm incredibly excited to jump into when the second one comes out. Then I have my ultimate section. Then we go down to the X-Men section. So I bought the Silver Age X-Men at Shelf Porn, as some of you know, so I probably never will read those. Um, but then I have one, three, and five pre-ordered. So I'll have all of them. Um, I will have the second X-Men by Claremont and Lee when uh, the weather gets better and Spooey can ship me out. So shout out to him for happy birthday. I have Wolverine 1 ordered. So I'll have all three Wolverines. It reminds me, I wonder what other Omnis I have ordered. Um, down here, oh yeah, Spider-Man vs. Venom will go there. Uh, Venom, Venom Omnibus by Cates. That was the most recent Omni that I read and I'll do a review on that and I loved it. Then a little... Uh, image section so I had the compendium soft covers by Invincible but I did recently sell those for the hardcovers and then I just got Saga 1, 2, and 3 as a birthday gift yesterday and then lastly Calvin and Hobbes um, I can also go over some of the decorations so let's get Revan fixed and upright so my little rebel pilot helmet some Lego Star Wars stuff. Got the Mandalorian Starfighter, the Naboo Starfighter. Little Infinity Gauntlet, given the bird. So I try to have all my Marvel or Star Wars uh, Legos on one side. Over here, you'll see some DC stuff. Um, just some stuff that I love. And then my one statue. I love that statue. I love when uh, Batman is like a parental figure, and I just love that. Here we have some art. I'm a big Studio Ghibli fan. Not sure if you guys can see, but got my Totoro tattoo. For those of you who know, I have a little cat bed for Vader. Let's go look over at the bookshelf of Doom. So there I have a Howard the Duck masterwork, Callie, which I bought and didn't read in time for Omni Dogs book review. I guess that Action Comics could go with the other one since it's oversized. Oh, this is kind of fun. My copy of Batman the Cape Crusader was stolen from a library, but still readable. Read it, loved it, would love the Omni someday. Down here, various other books. Peep that Nadia Nice, which I can't show any art from that. And then 
I got these out to show my friend who got me the deluxe editions what I had before, so you know what I'll do? Maybe uh, if you like and comment on this video, I'll ship you Saga 1, the trade for Saga 1. Um, that'll be my first giveaway on the channel. Have some compendiums down there. And lastly, I have this piece of shit book that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Also stolen from my library. Didn't even come with its box. Luckily, I got my money back for that one. Well, guys, that was the tour of my room and my space. As you can see, I'm very happy with it. Um, I mean, I'm kind of running out of space, but I'm not supposed to really be buying too many more books, but uh, I'm sure you guys know how that goes. Um, I guess I didn't really say some of my favorites. Some of my favorites would be the Sandmans. Uh, eventually, the Preachers, once that I have that collection done. Um, absolutes are my favorite way to collect. Um, but, God, the value you get out of Omnis, man. Um, I mean, it would be nice for me to get a third bookshelf and have more stuff for uh, more indie comics, more creator-owned. Um, I do the best I can to organize with the space that I have. Um, but, yeah, guys. So, I um, have no idea how this video is going to turn out. This was my first one. Um, I would love suggestions or tips. Um and yeah uh so again uh, if someone wants that first saga trade just comment in the video and i shall ship it out to you and let me know what you guys would like i was thinking about doing book reviews in the future um and uh, i mean what other any you know video ideas i can think of but anyways guys thank you so much remember to like comment and subscribe and have a great day